welcome back to the AGP show. I'm cold. <laughs> Featuring my co-host Stephanie and a cliff bar and a blanket. <laughs> we are shoveling in because we have a lot to talk about. We have not been able to record an episode in two weeks. Almost two weeks, yeah. Yeah. So get cozy. Grab your snack. Grab your alcoholic beverage. And tell them why we haven't talked in two weeks. Uh, oh my god, they're gonna think we had a five. I said, no. Like why haven't we been talking in two weeks, huh? You, you stood me up, mm. and you cheated, <laughs> and you're a liar. <laughs> no. No. What, what happened with you? I so I've been having a period for like six months, and mm-hmm. that's an issue. So I went to the doctor, and they were like, "You have polycystic ovaries." And I was like, "Great." And then also I got a call from the doctor and they were like, you're pre-diabetic. And I was like, great. So because I'm insulin resistant because of the polycystic ovary syndrome, like most people who have it have like problems with their sugar and have to be on special diets. So had to do that. Uh, went on a bachelorette party, sort of bleeding excessively. Almost went to the ER. How excessively? Pretty excessively, like gushing down my legs and like, uh, don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> I was dying, and then I was anemic. What um, does that mean? I, mean, I don't know. It means you don't have enough blood. That makes sense because you were losing a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it's been fun. It's been great. I've been really tired and felt like shit, but I feel better today. Started birth control and medicine for polycystic ovaries, and I went and bought food. That's good for me. <laughs> so that's good. I had a blueberry smoothie today. She did do that. It was really good. Two things I did not know what they meant until recently. Anemic and five o'clock shadow. (laughs) You didn't know what five o'clock shadow was? No. I had no clue. I guess you have no interest in men, so. Why would you know? You know? But why do you need to know if you're interesting? I guess not. I mean, it's just. Maybe that doesn't make sense. I grew up around a man or two. Do they just not have five o'clock shadows? No. Really? Not that I know of. (laughs) I think it's all like burly men, like men who have like beer, like thick beards. Get them. That scares me. Thick beards. Men. <laughs> <laughs> men with thick hair. I that is mean, dangerous to me. I mean, you can get tangled up <clears throat> like a wire in your headphones. Get tangled up in their chest hair. You could. Have you ever watched you on Netflix? No. Have you ever seen the man that's in it? I've seen his face. He's got insane chest hair. Everyone's and they just the, show it. Everyone is obsessed with that show, and I just can't deal. Oh yeah, you're obsessed with that show. Is it good? She was just chalking trash. I don't think. I don't think I'm it's, just kidding. Not that it's bad. No, but I also just don't watch television. <laughs> That's a good point. It's pretty good. I mostly watch it for the lady in it. She's now. really pretty. Or the one that's crazy. Her. Yeah, it's like having the baby with him. And... Yes. Oh. Yeah, I'm about it. So is she insane? Does she kill people too? Yes. Here's the thing. And I think this is just such an issue and I hate the main character now, the guy. So he's killing people all throughout the first two seasons. And, and like, bah, 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 she bah. kills people and then he's like, For I. the exact same reason he kills people. And he's like, oh my god, I can't handle it. Oh my god. Can you talk, can you say the word pussy? Because that's what he is. That's, I saw a thing about it. It was like, this show has proof that men can't handle what they dish out. Exactly. Maybe oh, that's the whole that's fucking point. Maybe that's what it is. Because he's crazy. He is crazy. And he's killed way more people than her. That we know of. I don't know. Does she, she kill her? Not yet. Well, I hope not. I'm not through season three yet, but I think I she's no about season three. She, he kills, like, a bunch of more people than her. And he's like, oh my god. Like, the only reason he's staying with her now is because she's pregnant with his baby. So he doesn't love her? No, not anymore. He's pretending so that she doesn't go bonkers and kill him. But I don't think she would do that. But she's a killer. But then I also saw a bunch of posts on, like, Twitter, and it was like... Because a bunch of people thought he was hot, even when he was killing people, like, in the first two seasons. You think killing people... I've, I've heard you. Different. It is not different. What? And what, what, like, what are, like, people in movies killing people and you don't care. Like, That's who? That's killing people. I've seen it happen. Like, who? I've seen it happen. But who? I've seen it happen. I mean, okay, I love I love Bucky Barnes. He has killed a lot of people, but it was not his fault, and he is not a psycho. <laughs> I'm not talking about him. Who are you talking about? A lot of people. <laughs> Everybody in Marvel has killed a thousand people. <laughs> and you know it. 
But they're not just like murdering people to murder people. They kind of are sometimes when they rampage through the city. I'll you give know, you, I'll give you. You Loki. know, so many people are dead. I'll give Loki, you, I'll give you Loki. Is evil. I don't. I just think uh, Tom Hiddleston's really dressed. Exactly. <laughs> but he didn't kill people. Anyway, moving on. What, what were you saying? Mm. <laughs> You're making me upset. Why? <laughs> because you like killers. <laughs> I don't know, but it has happened before. Okay. But it's not in real life. Like some people. <laughs> what are you talking about? And you don't like real life serial killers. I'm not saying that. Oh, I'm just talking about in movies. And I shows. know. Yes. Yes. I know you don't like. I know. Maybe I do. You don't know. Well, I love you anyway. <laughs> everyone was obsessed with him and was like, he's so hot. And then when she does it, everyone's like, she's a psycho. Really? Oh, yeah. Yes. But she's hot. I mean, she's really pretty. And she, yeah, is she crazy? Yes. Would I have a baby with that woman? Yes. And I would not go straight. He's cheating on her in season three. Spoilers. He's cheating on her with the damn neighbor. Why? I don't understand why he goes through all this trouble to get with this person. And then he's like. Oh, I know. Kills people for her. Well, maybe he didn't kill anybody for her. I thought he killed people that were like around her that like weren't good for her. Not that one. That's in season one. Does he kill that girl? Yes. Oh, great. Okay. He kills her. He killed his... He, he tried to kill the girlfriend before that, too. But he doesn't want to kill Love because he's like, Oh, my God, she is insane. I'm like, dude, you are just as insane. She's killed a total of three people that I'm aware of in the show. He's killed, like, ten. Chill out. <laughs> he's like, I have to protect my baby from her. I was like, she loves that baby. She would not kill that baby. Uh. But, I mean, they're both crazy. And they're both hot in their own little ways. <laughs> He's got a get. Yeah. I know. I was gonna talk. <laughs> He's got her. Uh, yeah, which I have no issue with. But no. I was gonna say. <laughs> he is. Uh. <laughs> That's what that sounded like. <laughs> so you were bleeding profusely. I, <laughs> I. You had strep throat also at the same time. Oh, yeah. I got a migraine and I got two speeding tickets in three days. I forgot about that. Can we talk about that? Two speeding tickets. I got letters in the mail. Oh, what'd they say? Slow down. <laughs> Actually did. <laughs> no, it was the points that have been on my license. And if I get one more speeding ticket in the next two years, I will get my license suspended. <laughs> you can't drive fast anymore. It is so aggravating. Leave me the fuck alone. You stupid cops. Do you not have anything better to do? Everything, everything is more priority than speeding. I'm sorry. Unless you're like... <laughs> like, just like... Going nuts and driving recklessly and speeding are two different things. And I will put that on the Bible. I never feel safer than when I'm going at like 90 in Natalie's car. Is that sarcasm? Not really. I mean, I've never felt unsafe in your car no matter how fast we're going. Except for that time we hit that giant pothole. But I don't think that was really your fault. That was not my fault. That was like a crater in the earth. That, that was the, the car belly. That was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we were on the moon like off. Oh, <laughs> never forget that. Yeah. We're driving. We're having such a terrible time. We're coming back home from Nashville in the early wee hours of the morn. And then, like, you hit that, you hit that pothole, and we were like, Whoa. the whole car went. Oh, it was off. <laughs> and we screamed. And like we, we were getting killed. Two flat tires. <laughs> yeah, we hit the pothole, and then we go down, and I'm like, I have a flat tire. And we call AAA, get somebody out there, and I literally look this man in the face, and I say, I don't have any more flat tires, do I? And he goes, no. We're driving maybe 20, 30 minutes. Another flat tire. Another one. And it was great. And now his dad had to come get us. And I left my fucking car, my keys in the car, in the middle of Tennessee. Yeah. So then I had to sleep it over at Natalie's. And then I had to go back that morning and get my keys out of her car. Yeah. <laughs> I went and got it. Well, she left her car at my place. And instead of being able to go home. Yeah. I had to stay at Nats. Which, I mean, it's fine, but it was... It was the fact that you, the next morning, had to drive, like, an hour to go to my car to get your car keys. Yeah. yeah. To then come get your car at my house. I have a bad habit of taking my keys everywhere with me. It's because my car locked itself, so I just take them everywhere. Anyway. Get that checked. My car locking itself? That sounds ghostly. Maybe you have that ghost car, like Stephen King or something. Uh, what was it called? <laughs> Gary. No, 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 no. That's a different thing. Christine. Christine. That movie used to scare the shit out of me, you know? I never got behind that idea. My dad, I watched it when I was young, and it used to put the fear of God in me. When I was little, and I see headlights, it would, like, 
Send me a when you saw headlights? Like, it was dark. Like, we'd be watching, like, walking, and then, like, headlights would come on behind me. I'd be like, <laughs> 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 and that's all you would do. <laughs> she, she was like, <sighs> it was really scary. The movie now Did is, someone die in the car or something? Uh, I don't know. It's like, she has a soul or something. Like, no one died in the car. It's like, it's like this the car has a soul. Sort of like, I mean, she's evil. And she gets a hold of a, of some of like usually a man, and then like kills everyone around him. So he <laughs> has eyes for her. Oh, I thought you were gonna say so he has to go to jail. No, no. <laughs> like so he's, the car so frame like the man. stay with her forever and never leave her because like the man that owned it first, like she killed a bunch of people in the factory she was made in, and then the man that owned her first, like his wife and daughter died inside the car because Christine killed him. Like, lock them inside and let them out and, like, um, get gas them with, like, whatever. Oh. Like, when you, like, shut your car on, like, an airtight station yeah. around, and, like, she did that to him. And then he, like, killed himself. And then there was a, his, that guy's brother had Christine and then he sold it to this high school kid who starts going crazy and, like, trying to kill everybody. And, like, she kills, like, a bunch of high schoolers and, like, runs them over. Relatable. Yeah. But she only plays, like, old-time rock and roll, like, doo-wop music when she kills people, oh. which is really interesting. That is... Really, it's really scary. <laughs> okay. It was weird. So, yeah. Car make man only man, and then they bang. Kind of. He's like, they get like, it's like they're in love with the car. But they don't bang. I don't know. I ain't read the book. I bet they would. I bet they do I in the book. I bet they do in the book. Stephen King does some free shit. I bet he puts in the exhaust pop. Or Probably. Like in the back. In the movie, he's like, I love her. <laughs> oh. See, that means, what if, what if, what if that's a real thing? Because men are obsessed with cars. Oh, yeah. Uh, there are like lots. Have you ever watched um, like My Strange Addiction, things like that? People get married to their cars all the time. Oh, I did see that one time. There was a woman that got married to like an old um, fair ride. <laughs> she like slept. It was like a, like a small Ferris wheel or something like that. And she married it. His name is like Jeff or something. Why do I think that's something you would do? <laughs> Why? No, I would. I think. I don't know. If I'm someone came up to, that, to me. I'm at this point. I'm so lonely. <laughs> if someone came up to me and said Stephanie is married, married a miniature Ferris wheel, <laughs> I would say, okay, <laughs> and am I invited to this wedding? <laughs> she like, I would be more offended that I wasn't invited to She like kisses wedding. it and she's like, good night, honey. And she like sleeps in one of the like things. I feel like I am like one inconvenience away from doing that. (laughs) Going crazy. There's a guy that like sleeps with his car and like all kinds of crazy stuff. I love my strange addiction. (laughs) I just can never get out of my head the episode where that woman eats toilet paper. I was going to see the one woman eats nothing but (laughs) cornstarch. She, no, her husband's like it's gotta stop. I can't handle it anymore. She all she eats is like tubs of cornstarch with a spoon. Oh my god! Yeah. How is she alive? How is she, she alive? Was alive? With, like she, her husband's like we have to stop. She's like sneaking cornstarch into the house so she can eat. It. I just like imagine like the camera's focused on him. He's like in the kitchen or something. He's like this has to stop. And there's like a back door. And she's walking through with cornstarch. Corn like. There's another one where a woman has only eaten cheesy potatoes for like 30 years. And like, that's a little bit more understandable. It's really funny. It's all she'll eat cheesy potatoes and her husband's like, try this broccoli. And she's like, <laughs> This sounds like me when I was like, six. <laughs> and all I was eating was like chicken and potatoes, which is me now. But uh, you branched it a little bit. You eat blueberries. <laughs> Do eat blueberries yeah. and cottage cheese. Yes. Cottage cheese is really good for you. That's me, baby. If you want to watch a lot of like, not watch, you like look up diets and stuff. They're like cottage cheese is a good snack, high protein, really good. Interesting. It's good for you. That is not what I thought. Mm-hmm. I have nine points on my license. I don't know if I have any points on my license. I don't know. I never <laughs> got a speeding ticket. I never got a ticket. Yeah, not wearing my seatbelt, but that was my fault because I was like, I'm not wearing a seatbelt. <laughs> I was so terrified. It was the first time I'd ever been pulled over. And it was for my broken tail light. And I got pulled over again that day for the same tail light. And then I took my, I had my seatbelt on, but then I took it off because I got nervous. And then he came to the window and I wasn't wearing a seatbelt. And I was like, I swear I was wearing it. But I didn't get one that time. <laughs> I got the first speeding ticket that I got in three days. 
<laughs> the guy pulled me over, and he's like going through all this stuff. He's like, you know, you're speeding. I said, yeah. And he's <laughs> like that. Yeah. And then he was like gets ready to walk away, and then he turns back and he's like, oh yeah, why aren't you wearing a seatbelt? Uh, and I was like. You're going to bring this up now in the moment of my pain. And why? <laughs> he probably did it just to be an ass. It's like, I'll wait until she like, thinks she's safe. I looked at him and I go, I didn't think about it. <laughs> Which is the dumbest thing to say. And then that little situation cost me three points. And then when we got pulled over together driving home. He gave you six? Six points. What? Why? Because I was speeding. You were speeding. I, I was speeding. speeding. Oh, no. Officer, arrest me. My grandma called me because the stuff got mailed to her house. She's like, what's going on? Well, I told her about it. And she was like, they're going to put you in jail. And I said, grandma, I don't think they can. And she was like, she was like, I think they can if you're going too fast. I said, (laughs) no. And I wouldn't go. I would resist. Resist arrest. I'm going, I'm going 70 and a 55 at 1 a.m. That's a recipe for success. <laughs> <laughs> Officer, if you don't want me to wreck and go to sleep and wreck, you're going to let me go sit again. That is five. really true. I'm trying to get home. You will fall asleep and die. He's, remember when he's like, if you hit a deer going 40 miles an hour. No, he was like, if you hit a deer going five or going 50, it's still going to be bad. And I was <laughs> like, yeah. That doesn't help. <laughs> like, it's going to be bad. I'm like, whether I was like, on the city was like when you're going over bridges, you can. <laughs> <laughs> you we all yes. Like, okay. I was like, if I'm going 55 or 70 and I hit a deer, I'm going to die either way, so I might as well. You won't die. I'll just get fucked up. It's <laughs> like <laughs> where the deer goes. If it comes with the windshield, then yeah. You know. Oh my God. <laughs> that has happened. To you? Like, no. To no, your no. family? My dad hit a deer once, and all the rims on his tires had like mohawks for like three weeks. I don't even know what that means. Was like, I don't a, know this sentence that you just strung together. The little thing, the little like ram inside the tire. You look very religious right now. <laughs> <laughs> you look like some kind of priest. <laughs> what, what, do they do? Do? what do they do? What do they do? The sacraments. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I can't. Anyway. Um, he hit the deer and there was like hair sticking out of the rims all the way around his tire. Like, like deer hair? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah. That's so disturbing. This one time... I, wasn't that my mom knew that like she was driving in a deer like a big buck ran down and ran into her car while she was driving and his antlers got stuck in her window and he was running alongside the car spitting on <laughs> spitting on her like, <laughs> spitting on her like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so she <laughs> she was like screaming like trying to park the car and the deer was like running <laughs> I just imagine like that you're throwing up in her lap. <laughs> she finally, I think she had to call somebody to come help her get the deer out of her. <laughs> Who did you call for that? I don't know. Animal control? That's good. <laughs> Poor deer. Oh my god. I can't imagine how scared she was. So traumatized. <laughs> oh, I'm so I traumatized. Ever hit a deer. I hit a deer on the way home tonight now that I've said that. Oh, shit. Don't even say that. <laughs> I almost hit a deer once. It ran out in front of me. I did hit a deer once. <laughs> oh, I was driving when I worked for that cleaning company. I was driving to Monticello. <laughs> and I was driving, and this is really funny. I was. Uh, it was when we were doing <laughs> the, little, the Little Mermaid musical, <laughs> and yeah, I was practicing I my Ursula music. So I was like screaming, singing while I was driving, and it, I'm t- this deer hit me. Some celebrity news, recent 
celebrity news. Yeah. Have you heard about this unlikely pairing of... <laughs> is this Lady Gomez and Chris Evans? No. Okay, who is it? That's not that unlikely. I feel like that works for some reason. Mm. Pete Davidson... And Kim Kardashian. Oh, no. uh, they went to serious? Disneyland together, what? Disney World or whatever. He gave some walk. <laughs> I'm getting more and more to the where I don't really enjoy Pete Davidson. I mean, I don't care about him. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate him. I'm sure he's I don't not. Hate him either. I'm sure he's fine. I just don't. Think I feel about like him. I don't think about Pete Davidson. I think he's he's just living out there in the world. Him and, and Kim K. Anybody who's with Kim K. Kim loses, K. loses all respect. <laughs> <laughs> if you date they, that woman, they did in their defense. They like they looked like they were having a great time. Well, I had they fun. were screaming. So yeah. happy for them. But I, I still, wonder, like, what it would be like to be on a ride with Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian. I bet Kim's like, I ah. would like, <laughs> ah, 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 <laughs> and Pete's like, oh my god, ah. ah. <laughs> Earring that she decided to wear, like she was in wearing, the ocean. She was like out on the boat, and like whoever she was dating at the time <laughs> threw her in the water. Oh no! And then she lost the earring. Oh my god, an earring! I'll never forget it. Can I you? Mean. Can she not just buy another one? I'm so confused. <sighs> Can't you just buy another one? I don't know. Can't you just buy another one? She got that money, you know she does. Oh yeah. I mean, like, I mean, I would be sad if I lost a twelve thousand dollar earring, but also I'm poor. And if, I wouldn't if I was her kind of rich. I'd be like, you know, win some, you lose some. <laughs> Casablanca. <laughs> 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 oh god. Uh, Anything else happened? Up? That's so weird yeah. to me. What do you think about uh, Lana Del Rey's new uh, feature album? I like I don't it. Know that I don't know what feature album means. I love it so much. I think it's really good. I think it's one of the best albums she's ever put out. <laughs> yeah, I said it. <laughs> I need to start listening to it more. I've been listening. I listen to. Shut up. I need to listen to it more. I'll probably I'll listen to it tomorrow when I clean the kitchen. It's so good. I'll pick an album to clean the kitchen to every day. And today it was. She's so quirky. I am. <laughs> today it was Born to Die. So. <laughs> and what was it yesterday? Born to Die. <laughs> no. It yesterday well, it wasn't an album. Yesterday it was um, the Demi Moore radio. It which is not the actor. Demi Moore is a song by uh, Phoebe Bridges. Oh, it's just, I know it. It's just Demi Moore talking for I two was hours. Like, I was like, who ta- who brings up Demi Moore she just rings, in any situation? She just rings all her lines from Labyrinth, and that's all. No one is more annoying than Demi Moore in Labyrinth. I, no one is say. more annoying than Demi Moore in Labyrinth. <laughs> I love Labyrinth. I do not like but her. She's like, oh my god, this oh. isn't fair. <laughs> My brother, come kidnap him. Wait, I don't want you to kidnap me. That's literally how she is. He's going to die. I don't remember her in that movie. She's really annoying. I mean, I know who she is, but I do not remember her. It's really it's a lot. I love that movie, though. Only for David Bowie. Yeah. Which is really weird. No. How's that weird? I don't know. I don't think it's weird at all. You don't think it's weird at all? Uh, not that I know of. What's the next thing on the list? Uh, uh, great transition there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I want to talk about something that has been plaguing society. Is it Chris Pratt? It is Chris <laughs> fucking Pratt. Give give them your, uh, your spiel. Chris I no Pratt thing. needs to be out of here. <laughs> he needs to be out of the entertainment industry. And every time something comes up, of uh, something shitty that he does or has done or whatever, he gets another animated role. Have you seen how many fucking animated roles he is getting? It's really only two. <laughs> but it's <laughs> First of all, they're doing that Mario movie. Oh, that is going to be they should, they should not be doing that movie. That's you know be. who plays Princess Peach? Anya Taylor Joy. Who's that? Tell me who this person is. She was in Queen's Gambit. Oh, okay. I'm it is so names. above. Wait, it's so isn't beneath she her. she like way younger than him? Oh, yeah. That's so weird. Yeah, well, it's animated, so I guess they. I mean, it's fine. Like, it's not. I get, I get it. It's not that weird, but it's still. It Even if weird. she wasn't younger than him, it's still weird. But also, it's so weird that she's in the Mario movie. She has done the highest quality of performance. I mean, everybody's got to have one of them, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Son of like... Oh. He got... He's Mario. Chris Pratt is Mario? 
How does that make any sense? He's not an Italian. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I just farted big Where are they going to get to play him? Anybody else? Robert, not Robert De Niro. Um, they couldn't get Robert De Niro. Oh, he's, like, he's like New York Italian. Uh, but no, not Robert De Niro. Oh my god! Christopher Walken? No. This <laughs> <laughs> Mario? No, no, no. Oh god, he's in, <laughs> no, he's, no, he's no. in the Godfather too. Isn't he dead? No, not no, 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 no. Mar- Mar- like, Brando? Not Marlon Brando. <laughs> the guy. He's also in Scarface. The hell is my little friend? That guy. Uh, Al Pacino. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, Pacino to blame it. Old I mean, Al Pacino. He's like, "Says <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I will save you." <laughs> Are you doing Al Pacino? Right? I don't know. Are you doing Robert De Niro? I don't know. <laughs> like it was both of them at the same time. <laughs> I'm like Robert De Niro's face, but Al Pacino's voice. <laughs> Robert De Niro talks like this. Not Robert De Niro. Al Pacino. He's like, he's like. <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> his voice is Luigi. Luigi. His voice is Luigi. I don't know. But it's really bad. It's, it's all bad. Chris Pratt is Mario. No, we'll do. Look at Chris Pratt say yes. That's Mario. <laughs> we'll do no. um, Robert De Niro as Mario and then um, the other guy is Luigi. And then, be, Luigi. and then they'll just read lines from the movie Heat. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole Mario. <laughs> They're not saving Peach. Uh, they're not saving anybody. It's just, it's just the movie Heat. With Luigi. How, oh, do you, yeah. how do you make a movie of characters that don't have that much dialogue? He says, Whoa! I don't know who does that little <laughs> That's movie. the whole movie. What is it? I'm a Mario! That's all he says for the yeah. whole movie. I really hope Chris Pratt doesn't try to do the, an accent. Oh, you know he I'm will. Gonna kill myself. I think that's the whole point, and you know we gotta go see that. Oh, no! You know we have to go see it. You know what else? You know what other uh, recent animated feature film he's been cast in? What? You won't even believe this. Is what is insane. it? Garfield. <laughs> no, is he he's gonna cast? be Garfield. What's happening? I also feel like Robert De Niro should be Garfield. I feel like Chris Pratt. I feel like he made somebody in Hollywood witness something, and he's like blackmailing them. Oh my god! To get all these roles. Because it is ridiculous. It's like I know that you slept, you cheated on your wife, and I have photos. So I'll guess what. <laughs> Give me all the what's give all me the all stuff that he's done. I know that he goes to a church that's like super homophobic. He does that, and he posts videos that are really freaking weird and kind of creepy. Really? Like it's just about his Christian lifestyle, and they're just like really weird. <laughs> there was a video he posted. He was like, "I've been seeing all this hate because about like the church stuff has been coming out about him," and he's like, "I've been getting all this hate." And whenever I need a minute, I just go into the woods, and I listen to my Christian playlist, and I just... Are you serious? Yeah, and I'm like, you sound like a serial killer. (laughs) And then also, I don't know everything about this, but I heard some stuff about it. He was, like, married to uh, Anna Ferris. yeah. Anna Ferris, my bad. And they have a kid together who has some kind of issue, health issue... Or something. I don't. I honestly don't know what it is. And then they got a divorce. He's got a new wife. That they have a kid. And he posted about his new family recently. And in the caption, it was something along the lines of, "I'm so grateful for the healthy baby that I have," or something like that. And it was very hurtful. Like it was very uh, oh, no. sad. His poor baby. Yeah. I feel like he does not see that other child. Mm. I did not like it. And this is the man that's playing everyone's favorite cat. <laughs> <laughs> this is the man I playing Garfield. I want to have. I just oh, wanna, I want to sit down and talk to her. I bet. Let's invite her on the show. On Ferris. What does Please she say? She tell me about Chris Pratt. She'd be like, I hate that. <laughs> yeah. No, nobody ever said anything after they got divorced. No. I don't know. I have no strong feelings, but I mean, I don't like the things that he does. But I'm like, I mean, I would. I want him to. I want him to shut up. I would really like him to just shut up. I don't want to hear him talking, but I am going to go see both of these movies because I want to see how bad they are. You know what other animated feature film I'm really excited to see? What? Clifford. <gasps> really? It's gonna, gonna be bad. bad. It's gonna be so bad, Dad. No, it's not. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going to see it. 
You know, what's Clifford. I don't know. Oh, come on. What's that? Oh, what's his name? He was Keenan. Keenan Thompson is in that movie. He plays a bit. <laughs> he is. I didn't know that. Yeah, I feel like Keenan Thompson has the weirdest roles. He's in like the weirdest little stuff, and he yeah. always plays the guy that's like. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see Clifford. I want to see. There's another movie coming out. I can't remember. Anyway, I want to see Clifford so bad. I want to see the Eternals. I, mean, I did. I literally have been thinking about it nonstop, and I, and I want to see it so bad. Let's dive straight into this segment. I'm gonna call review time. <laughs> Let's talk about all the movies we've seen recently. Well, I don't. Want... Let's talk about the Eternals. Okay. I don't want to know. I'm not going to say any spoilers. Okay. I'm just going to review it okay. as a movie. Okay. It was fine. But not because of all the reasons that the Marvel boys are saying. Everyone's like, it, the acting's bad. And it's, it's too, there's not enough stuff going on. There is plenty of stuff going on. But I felt like I was watching a sequel to a movie. They introduced like 10 characters and they're like, but don't give me any backstory. But also do give me a little backstory, but not enough. And I was a little confused. There's just a lot going on. I feel like it should have been two different movies. Or like a TV show. That would have been... They should have made it a, a Disney Plus series. Yeah. I think that would have suited it a lot better. Yeah. They could have had like an episode for each character. And then they yeah. could have made a movie. Yeah. That, I would have loved that. I think that would have suited it a lot There's better. There's so much going on in that movie. But it's a good movie. It just feels like a sequel. And I would... But I love the characters. But I feel like I would love them a little more if I knew who mm. the fuck they were. You know what I'm saying? I don't fucking know. Athena? I didn't know she was in this. I didn't know she was in Marvel. Angelina Jolie is hot. She's really good. It's better than you even think. Yeah? It's better than you even think she... it is. She had a relationship with a giant green alien man. No. I don't know what this is from. She's like, she's buddies with this bigger guy, but he's not an alien. He's not? No, he's one of the Eternals. No! There's a guy. There's an alien guy. He touches her face like this with the tentacle. Does this not happen in the movie? Not that I remember. I, I saw a clip of it. And, and I, I was like, what? And I was like, what the fuck is going on? I don't think so. She's not. No. If anything, I do. You, I don't know if I should tell you this. What you saw the ending clip. Yeah. Spoilers if you've not seen it. You saw the ending clip with Harry. Mr. Oh my God. Mr. Harry. He's going to be in another movie. Oh, and no, he's going to be a I character. I know. No. He's going to be a. I think, I think he's going to be a big part of it. See here. I mean, I don't know anything about the comics. I don't know how much it translates over to the movies. But it's Thanos' brother. And he's hot. And he's hot. How did you mean Thanos look like that and having a brother that looks like Harry Styles? Oh, when you saw that clip, did you get some flirty vibes between him and Angelina Jolie? He says, your beauty is just as I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what he says. That's what he says something like it's that. It's something about the legend of your beauty. Is yeah. so true. <laughs> She's like, if they fuck, <laughs> I'm going to explode. That Was there a love scene in the movie? Yes, girl, and it was hot and heavy. Well, it wasn't that heavy. It was because like, I saw a thing it was like Marvel's first sex scene and why yeah. it's important. Was it between Icarus and that one lady? Yes. It was glorious. I know a few things, but I don't know anything about what actually happened. I... Did she stay with Kit Harrington's character or no, they're together? It's, that's kind of up in the air at this point. Because she like has that thing with Icarus, but then she like goes back to Earth or whatever. and She's like, oh... And then she gets shot up into space. And, and he's I'm, like, where the fuck is she? But, but there's something up with him. He is something. Oh, I know. He has a dark knight. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's going to be like a character. I don't coming. know who that is. It's the thing with the sword. He's like, oh, shit, the sword. Yeah. It's like in his family. No, yeah. He's like, oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> I really want to watch it. Mostly. Not mostly. I want to see it for all the kinds of reasons. I love the girl. The girl that plays the speedy girl. She plays. Yes. She's, she's the, the one. You did. I know. So cute. She's so cute. Drew, I don't know. Listen, listen, something listen, about him. Something about him. Something listen, about listen, him. Listen, I don't know what it is. I could not. I'm going to be real. <laughs> but would I have his baby tonight? I also would have his baby. There's some, he is hot. Wait, dogs. Listen, listen, listen. There's like, I've seen a clip where he's like, going to stop this war. And, yes. and they're like, don't. And he's like, you make me? And I was like, <laughs> Screaming. He's screaming. cool. But he's also kind of a psychopath. Was he really? Kind of. Like, he, like, uses his powers for good, but it's, like, his definition of good. I yeah. Feel, I feel like he's not doing what he should be doing. Mm. But he's hot. He's so hot. 
You know who I uh, hate with a passion? <laughs> who? You're going to get mad at this one. Is it Icarus? Yeah. I but not his character. The I mean, actor. You hate Richard Madden? I hate him. Why? I mean, I don't. I mean, I think he's attractive. But he I is the most. Now, Ashton will get mad at you. Bland piece of fish. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know he, what has, I'm he has no. He has nothing to offer. I think he's very attractive, but I mean. Also, him and Kit Harrington look exactly the same. I, I don't know. know. I don't know why they're both. Now, in that Kit movie. Harrington. <laughs> they look exactly the same, I and would. I don't know. Kiss him on the mouth. <laughs> but there's somebody else that they, that they look like. Oh, Christopher Abbott. You know him? He was in a movie we watched. He was in The World to Come. He was the bad husband. <gasps> the asshole. You do look like him. I thought Kit Harrington was Christopher Abbott the whole time until the end. <laughs> no, I was no. like, oh my god. That wasn't no. him. No, I no, didn't, no. I didn't know. That is Jon Snow. <laughs> yeah. Jon Snow. They all look exactly the same. I'm very excited to see it. I'm going to watch it so bad. It's good. I'm going to look like Droog. I can't wait for the fan page. <laughs> Um, I thought I was gonna implode when Harry came on the screen. It's just like this little, there's like this little creature thing, and he's like, <laughs> and his name is Roger, and then Harry Styles enters and goes, Roger, <laughs> you don't have to say that every time. <laughs> you say it just like that? Pretty much. The way he talks is like, yo, beauty. <laughs> God, it's like, his hair, what the hell? His hair in that scene was looking good. There's going to be some fan fiction about him. If I could eat his hair, <laughs> I think I would. Imagine the texture. Go on. It's Harry Styles. <laughs> <laughs> hair, oh I want to have a bowl of it for breakfast. Oh my like, God, no. <laughs> oh God. What else have we seen? We saw Doom. Let's we talk did. about Doom. Have we not talked about it yet? We haven't been no. here. <laughs> No, we haven't. I really, I really enjoyed Dune. It was great, except Zendaya was baby. That is true. I loved it, but I did agree that that was an issue. They shouldn't have done that. They should. They have, should not have done they that. They should have teased her and been like, "Ooh, Ooh who's the, they should have been like, who's the girl?" It yeah. Said, it said the trailer of the movie is all her scenes. I think in they're like the it's movie. all Zendaya. Zendaya and Timothy Chalamet. Uh, and the people that were like the main characters in the movie didn't get to do press, and she did, which she I think did is really all the unfair. press. And I bet she didn't even want to do it because that's a lot of work and stress. That is so stressful. And I bet she, like they would ask her questions, and she'd be like, "I don't fucking know," because guess what? See, I'm not in the movie. You see pictures? It's really funny that you say that because there's like all kinds of stuff where like Timothy Chalamet is going into very deep detail oh, yeah, about does. stuff, and she's like, she does not talk. And they're I've like, the and they're like, ha, oh, he just knows more than me, ha. Huh? It's because she goes in the funny movie. <laughs> in the movie, you can't ask her any questions. He goes through such detail. I'm getting to where I do, I like him more as a person now. I, I but get it. I think his acting is fine. I think he's a little overrated. In some ways. I don't a little think, bit. I think he's good. He's good. I thought he was very good in that movie. I enjoyed it. I, I don't know. Overrated. I think he does well as that character because that character is kind of like him. <laughs> See, like, every time I watch one of his interviews... It's like half the time I'm like, oh, this man is like the wisest of us all, and he is like, I think he's probably some kind of like Jesus Christ incarnate, so because he's like laying down the knowledge, and then the rest of it, he just acts like a douchebag, <laughs> and I'm like, can we just stick to the, can we just stick to the good, get to the good? <laughs> I have not seen a single <laughs> interview. <laughs> he's just like, mm. oh no. <laughs> Carpet? No. He's like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> he knows he's fucking whatever he thinks he is. I mean, every, he he knows that everybody thinks he's attractive, but he plays it. I feel like uh, I could breathe on him, and he like <laughs> he plays it up so much on the red carpet. He's like, please get out of here. <laughs> he do that exactly. Please get out of here. He's like pelvic <sighs> thrusting into uh, the air. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> See, he's like waving his penis around <laughs> all over that carpet. <laughs> Calm down. If he didn't do that, I would, I would love him so much. Not that oh, it fucking a, matters. He is a young man, and I think that. But he's not the same age as, like you know, Mister fucking Harry Styles. You're right. <laughs> I think Harry Styles is just different. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Harry Styles is better. Harry Styles is just Harry Styles. Harry Styles. I won't keep bringing him up. <laughs> I won't. I promise. <gasps> I heard he's coming out with new music in sixty to ninety days. This is what I heard. <laughs> Okay, H okay. S three 
what? Harry Styles 3. Oh. The third album. Do you think... <laughs> How much do you think pizza cost? Thousands. Are you Probably if we get the, the, if we the get money the, for that. Well, we can maybe put it on a payment plan. I don't know. <gasps> I don't know if we can. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, I heard it's a rumor. More. It's just a rumor. I don't know. But I heard he's coming up with music. It's 60 to 90 days. 60. I saw a TikTok about it. Are you excited for a new album? Yeah. I think it comes out next week. Next week? I think it comes out next Friday. Ooh. What's next on the list? What else have we seen? I saw the last night in Soho. Is it good? I thought it was really, I thought it was really great. I rated it like four and a half out of five. It's about, I was jamming with the first part. It was so good. It's about this girl. At first I thought it was set in the 60s, but then it's not, but then some of it is, but that's for later. Um, about this girl, she lives in the UK. She wants to move to London to become a fashion designer. And she moves to London. Nobody likes her, so she gets she like lives in a dorm. But everyone hates her, so she finds an apartment, and she stays in this apartment. And when she goes to sleep at night, she like it's basically like she's thinking in her world, right? And I was like, I'm jamming with this. This is so relatable. I yeah. love this so much. And in her world, she's like this lady in the '60s who could sing and dance, and she wants to become an entertainer. And she's like getting the guy and shit, and then. I don't... Should I spoil it? Sure, go ahead. So, basically, the world that she thinks of when she's asleep or at night was actually... It actually happened. And that girl that she is in her dreams ends up getting murdered by someone who was like, oh, I can help you become an entertainer. And then he t- turns her into a prostitute, like, kind of against her will. At first, it's like she does not want to do it. And then she, like, gets along with it. But, like, she doesn't want to do it. She just thinks she has to do it. Mm-hmm. And then he murders her. But then... That's what happens in her world. But then you find out that the woman that she's renting the apartment from is that girl in her dreams. And she killed the pimp. And she killed a, a, all the men that came to see her. Okay, um, I saw some guy I follow on Instagram who's like a film kind of silly. He gave it a really bad review, but seriously, yeah, he was like, "It's the it's a definition of a movie that has a great premise but is not executed well." I thought it was fucking good. He like the whole not the whole thing, but his whole review was that Anya, and Anya, yeah. yeah, Anya Taylor Joy plays the other girl like in the dream world. Mm-hmm. He's like, every time she is on the screen, she outshines the main character. It's like, that is the whole point. The she point is, is supposed she to, be. Wants to be. Exactly. I was like, okay. okay. Are you, do you have brain? <laughs> brain? She's, he's like, oh, you can't look away from Anya Taylor do Joy. You, That's the point. Do you like think that a lot of times, like, there's a lot of like male critics that think they're so smart that they think yeah. they like see too much into things and they're like, this yeah. is bad. Like, they can never just enjoy it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I know what you're saying. I feel like they're like, well, if this is not correct, then it's not bad. I mean, it's not correct. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Because, like, every time, it goes back to, like, the Marvel movies. Like, every time that there's a Marvel movie that comes out that's Captain not Marvel. that's not led by, like, a white guy, like a white man. They're like, they're like this is going to be terrible. This is the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. The, the action sequences are not up to par. Because they said that about Black Panther, and they said that about Shang-Chi. Yeah. And they said that about Captain Marvel, and they said it about the Eternals. Yeah. The Eternals, there's nothing wrong with the movie itself. It's a good movie. I just wish it was a sequel. I wish we already had another one. To explain some things. Mm-hmm. They're like, in the beginning of the movie, they're like, dun, 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 and I'm like, okay, I need to back up. I don't read comics. <laughs> <laughs> I need to back up. But it's a good movie. And the actors are insane. And I love them. Except for Jermaine. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Jermaine. I think he's uh, supposed to be like Marvel's version of Superman. 
With like the laser yeah. eyes and the uh. Sure, sure. That's what I heard. That anyway. makes sense. I don't know much about the Eternals. Didn't read any of their stuff. Don't know. I never heard of them before. But I don't either. hear of anything I Because Marvel, Marvel they've done all the ones that everybody knows, so now they're getting to the... Nitty gritty. They're like, let's go into the stuff that people have never heard of in their entire life. That's fine. Like, I'm really I'm excited, excited for it. it. I love Marvel. It's my beanie little dumb. It kind of looks like a penis head. No, it doesn't. <laughs> what like, is the tip of the penis called? The tip of the penis? I mean, yeah. Oh. I would think. Is it like the... Okay. I don't know. I don't know, male. I feel like there is a name. I'm sure you do. I think there's a name for it. I want to talk about a new feature that we've added to our show. I don't even think you know about this. So on Spotify, if you listen to our show on Spotify, uh, <laughs> she's I almost, a bit. yeah. I yeah. imagine if we got that on live, now that's where we go. <laughs> I, I did it in my mouth. It's okay. So if you listen to this on Spotify, um, there are polls and questions that you can reply to that we will get to see your answers. <gasps> and they're like episode related That's to that really episode. Cool. Isn't that cool? That I kind of really did cool. that myself. I thought when you said polls, I thought you were going to say there's polls. The polls for, for pole dancing. <laughs> no. <laughs> the polls in the election. <laughs> no. Um, so like there'll be questions and there will be questions that you can answer and we can get to know you better. Yes. <laughs> okay. What else do we need? <laughs> That's not at all. We get to these parts. We're like, what's next? <laughs> all right. I want to talk. This is like a one liner that I thought was really funny, but it's probably not going to be as funny as I thought. What? This is my one liner to you. Are you ready? Yeah. You better love whoever remembers your coffee order. Yeah. It's really funny <laughs> when you say it like that. <laughs> you remember whoever remembers your coffee order. Because <laughs> it's, it's awful. Like an old man told me that at a coffee shop. <laughs> like some guy. He was like standing behind him. Yeah, like, you better you love it. whoever remembers your coffee order. And I was like, thank you, sir. That's what that I'm channeling like. my creepy old man. Oh, my God. I got a, I went to TJ Maxx today. He rose water. <laughs> I got it what car. is rose water good for? It's uh, I use it as a toner. It's like inflammable. What's a toner? So you put it on. Well, usually, actually, I put it on because I need my face to be wet before I put usually, it on. Actually, I put it on because I need my face to be wet for my hyaluronic acid. But um, it's really like good. It's like inflammatory and like and like it's good. It's good stuff for you. I don't know. I don't know. I had to. Look I it just up. bought an electric face washer. Do you like it? Yeah, it kind of hurts. Be gentle. I think I'm pushing too hard. Just let it sit there. Just be like, yeah, I ain't gonna do that. I really get into my nose, though. In this little area, don't look at it. <laughs> I'm like, ah! Is it hell? I don't know. I've only been using it for two days. Don't look at my nose. <laughs> I'm not looking at What you. were you talking about TJ Maxx about? Uh oh yeah, I got it in my car and the same was like, Good morning, sweetie! And Ew. I was like, Thank you. Why do we need to talk to strangers? I don't know. I mean I get it, like I don't, also I don't get it. I think it's an old person thing. Like they come from a time when you're supposed to be like, Howdy, good morning to everybody, and like we don't do that. I want everybody to get out of my fucking face. Sorry. I go up to people. I mean, I don't go up. I mean, if I pass someone. Good morning. No, if I pass someone and I like their shirt, I tell them I like their shirt. Oh, well, that's different. Say They're being like, good morning, sweetie. Sweetie? I'm like, I okay. don't know you, old that's man. That's different being like, I like your shirt. Yeah. It's different. Anyway. <sighs> you know, season two is almost over. Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> no kidding. God. It's reminiscent. I, just, I did like a little uh, flashback. <laughs> That's not how that came off. I'm sorry. <laughs> You'd be like, yeah, it's about fucking time. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Season two. We only have uh, three more episodes after this. And what was tomorrow? Uh, yeah. Wow. Next one, we're having a special guest. Well, not, not, not tomorrow. tomorrow. Episode, but the one after that. And then the next one will be our Thanksgiving episode. <gasps> and then Thanksgiving episode. we're done for a month. Should we eat turkey in front of the camera? We'll do a month bang. No kidding. We're done. Do you want to? But we can't cook a dinner before. No, we can't. We can go pick something up. We'll go get a turkey dinner from Sunny's. <laughs> oh, God. Seriously, we can like, do that. What if that's so expensive? Turkey dinner? Yeah. Don't you just get the roast turkey? 
Oh, I thought you meant like, because they do like Thanksgiving stuff. I thought you meant one of those. They do like a Thanksgiving thing. How much is it? I think it's like a hundred dollars. No, no, no. We should get fried chicken. I've been craving fried chicken. Can we get a bucket from KFC and just fucking talk about nothing? Or we could go to Slim Chickens. I think it might be better than KFC. I'll take you to Slim Chicken if I'm not eating there. Is it good? Is it bad? I've heard it's terrible. Do, do I know bad things about it? I don't know. I'm <laughs> do I know bad things about it? Except I don't know. Do you? <laughs> I'm down with KFC. Let's go. KFC! New Black Friday deal! Sorry. I just got a notification. We, what else have we been up to? I have We've been going to the gym. gym. I've been going to school. been looking for a job. I was... On the grind for that job, haven't found anything yet, and then I got really sick and I hadn't applied to a job in a while. But I'm gonna do that tomorrow. She's on that grind. I was. I'm gonna that get apply again grind. tomorrow. What have you been reading? Um, anything? I haven't really been reading anything. I mean, just, that's sad. I just have so much to do. That's okay. I finished uh, Twilight Part Three Eclipse. If any one of our listeners is Team Jacob, I really want you to reevaluate that, and I will just leave it at that. It's bad. He's you need awful. to reevaluate it. He's like really not good. If you've never read the books, you know Team Jacob. That's a different story. Well, I don't know. I don't know. He was bad. I don't know. He's bad in the movies. He needs to just leave Is Bella he? alone. He does. Just leave her alone. It's obvious. He's like, you know, you love me, and she's like, I don't. But in the book, she does. I mean, she cares about Jacob, and like, in New Moon, when Edward left, she was like, I yeah, do. But she loves Edward. Edward is the one. Edward is, yeah. But I just finished Eclipse and she says that she loves him too. But she she says that she loves both of them but that she cannot live without Edward. Yeah. So, I mean, she loves Jacob. But also, how much of that love is manipulation, baby? Because Jacob is a manipulator. Crazy. Listen, even if she does care about him, even if some way she does love him, she's telling him to leave her alone that she wants to be with Edward. Yeah. And that, so, so leave, leave her, her alone. alone. Nah. And then he gets all attached to her baby. <laughs> Which I was so fucking I, weird. When I was younger, I was like, why should be so mean to him? I get it. When I was like 11, I was like, you can't help it. I get it. When I was older, I hate Jacob. <laughs> Jacob is the worst. I used to love Jacob when I was like 10, because I you don't know any better. You're like, Jacob, he's cute. But I don't know. I got a little older, and then I was like, said Clearwater. That's the one. I was <laughs> said it. I love Seth. He's such a sweetie pie. Is he in? He's in Eclipse, right? Yeah, but not much. He's such a sweetie pie. I love Seth. I'm an Edward girl. I like. I like, I like Edward, Edward to sweep me up, please. <laughs> I do like it. Run with me, Edward, please, <laughs> please. I love him. I would die for him. I do like Edward. I love Robert Pattinson. Are you serious? <laughs> I am attracted to Edward. Uh, Every time I'm reading, first of all, these Twilight books got me going insane. Talking, I'm like, oh my god, talking to me. <laughs> I can't wait for you to read um, Breaking, Breaking Dawn, Dawn, where they have sex. Oh, I'm so excited. Every time they get so close, and I'm like, just put it in her, put it in me, <laughs> do something. And then she gets pregnant. And then she's like, no. At the end, he's ready to bang at the end of a clip. He's like, you gotta marry me, which is also, calm down, Edward, just a little bit. You need to reel it in. He's like, you have to marry me before I'll fuck you. And I'm like, this is not the fucking 1800s. Sorry that you're from there, but this is not that. <laughs> and, and, and then, and then at the end of the clip, she's like, oh, we don't have to marry. I'm sorry, let me fuck you. And then she's like, no. And I'm like, are you fucking dumb? <laughs> are you fucking dumb, Bella? <sighs> Bella. But then... Get your head out of your ass, Bella. And then they do have sex in Breaking Dawn. Yes! And then they have a baby. I remember in the movies when they break the bed. And that's <laughs> cool. <laughs> I, was, I was like, oh my god, what's happening? I, because I, think, I was very young when I was like reading and watching these movies. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> See, he broke the bed. And I was like, uh. <laughs> I was like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> what did you think the bed was made of steel? I didn't know. I didn't know. I was like, oh. She wakes up the next morning and she's covered in bruises and she's like, it's fine. And I was like, uh. He's like, I hurt you. And I was like, uh. In my head, I was like, you know her vagina is bruised all the time. Oh, God. That vampire dick. She's got like, she's got like, the, like fingerprint bruises all over her arm. She, her whole cooch is a giant bruise. She's like, it's fine. I had a great time. 
sure she did. They brought up I'm dinner. Sure she did. She's, She's like, it was the best time of my normal I life. It's cold. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. There was this thing I read. Like, this is about to get really technical. <laughs> Come on. There's all these people that were arguing. They were like, how can he get her pregnant? His sperm, his like icicle sperm, really. Like, something like that. <laughs> And then Stephanie Morris is like, he was naked in the ocean and that warmed up his sperm enough so he could get himself If I was Stephanie Myers in that situation, I'd be like, you know what you're reading and you're going to get technical about this right She'd now? She'd be like, this is the warm water of the ocean that he was in while he was naked. <laughs> I'd be like, bitches, it's a vampire back. What do you mean? What do you expect? Do you know, um, my friend Dustin, I was hanging out with Dustin and Shine, and I was like forcing them to watch Twilight, because it's what I do. And Dustin goes, hey Stephanie, do vampires fart? And I was like, dude, I don't know. So he messaged Emily Myers on Instagram, and she blocked him. Emily Myers? No, Emily Myers, Stephanie Myers. He messaged her, like, the official account, and was like, do vampires fart? And she blocked him. <laughs> That's so funny. I love that she took the time to open that message and read it and say, I don't want to deal with this right now. <laughs> I can't play I'm sure she gets all the craziest things in the world. I love how she decided oh, message her after to answer the question that was like, why was his sperm unfrozen? Yeah, but, but not she couldn't do vampire farts. farts. I think that's much. I think I that's love, much. I love reading things about Twilight. Like, like this, this happened or this happened. Like, what did I read the other day? It was like, by vampire logic, Bella farted on the first floor of their house and Emmett pissed himself laughing on the bottom floor of their house. <laughs> what are you talking like, about? Like, she farts around them and thinks that they don't hear, but then they hear. They always hear, and then it's really... I don't know. You had to read it. It was really funny. All right. Stay I have right. a bunch of Twilight memes saved in my phone. Please send them all my way. I'm so... Wait, I'm so not gonna have to show you some when we get I inside. love Twilight. They're so funny. There's so many about, like... Emmett bugging Edward with like his thoughts and it's like the craziest shit in the world. <laughs> it's like Edward, Edward's like Emmett can throw your thoughts and it's like <laughs> Emmett's thoughts and it's like a man get it's like a cartoon Velociraptor like eating like a live man or something. Jesus. It's so funny. Emmett is just there. I love him. <laughs> He's fine. He's an idiot. I love Edward and then Alice. I do like Alice a lot. And then I love my character that I've inserted myself in there. Are you with Edward? Yes. What about Bella? What about her? <laughs> she's just not there? She's not there. Oh. She's, I love it. She's not there. When I was like 12, I had a world in Twilight where I was with Seth. <laughs> uh. I love it. We're done here. Are we? Completed. <laughs> Completed. Finit. I love Finit. that we ended it on this note. The end. Of Twilight. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just yeah. looking at myself in that video. Okay. Uh, talk about what you do. I paint. Why are you looking right <laughs> at right me? Right your eyes. I'm going to stare into yourself. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I, I follow me on Instagram at pizza underscore curiosity and see me paint. Thank you. Hey, guys. This is Natalie. Your co-host and friend. Please follow us on Instagram and TikTok at a good podcast sixty nine. Please. Ah! <laughs> um. Oh. 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 And uh, follow us. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's called Nat and Steph. Our most recent video. We did a pumpkin carving challenge for Halloween. I know it's past Halloween, but you can always get in that spooky oh, spirit. Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, check out our merch on our Instagram. You can find it there. Link in the bio. We have shirts, shorts, uh, stickers, and posters, and mugs, and backpacks, and more. And we'll see you next time. Oh, this will be a double feature. Two episodes in one day. So see you. Mm. We have another episode out right I'll now. See you in a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Love you. Bye, everybody. Bye.